we have never had a concert in Sanford Stadium ever, and we may never have one again. We're going to be the only college stadium that this gentleman is coming to. He's from Macon, Georgia. He's a Georgia Bulldog. I want to introduce Jason Aldi. young Aldine, well I mean you're still a young Aldine, but I mean like a really young Aldine, and you are sitting in Sanford Stadium watching a football game, did you ever in your wildest dreams think you'd be playing a concert there? Not at all, not not even a little bit, um, you know, and even, you know, honestly, even when we started talking about this a while back, we started talking about where we were going to play shows and do all that kind of stuff, you know, Sanford Stadium came up and I, was, I still kind of blew it off like, eh. Probably not going to happen, you know, just because uh, they had never had a show here. I mean, just it wasn't something they did here. And um, to, to finally, I, don't even, I still don't even know how we pulled it off, but uh, to say that it's, it's, it's going to be probably the highlight of my career so far would, would be an understatement. Do you know the stage set up? Have you guys talked about that? Have you got that far yet? Uh, we're actually just starting to talk about that now. Um, I've seen a couple of things. A couple of mock-ups they've kind of sent over and we've made some changes and so usually that stuff seems to happen uh, over the holidays while we've, we've got a few months off or whatever right. and, um, you know so, so we've already started it started the ball rolling on it um, you know and I, I think we're probably going to add a, a couple of different things for these stadium shows that we probably wouldn't have maybe at an amphitheater or whatever but um, it's it's going to be it's going to be cool well, the Kicks Facebook page, Twitter, everybody blowing up because <laughs> Jason Haldine and Luke Bryan at Sanford Stadium, I mean, like, people are just, they think they're having a dream. Well, you know, we uh, we decided we were going to do this show, and when we, we got the go-ahead, um, you know, my first call was to Luke, and I said... Uh, <laughs> Let me guess. He said, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> I didn't. E I didn't even get the sentence out of my mouth. And I was like, "Hey, uh, I just want to let you know, we just pulled the trigger on on a show at Sanford Stadium, and uh, just want to know if you would want to be on the yes." You know? <laughs> and that was kind of how it went. And you know? so he's a big Georgia Georgia football fan, and, and obviously from Georgia too. And uh, you know, there was there was nobody else I wanted on the show oh, more yeah. than him. And. Uh, and I know he wanted to be a part of it. Tell us about the new CD, man. Uh, you got, what, 15 tracks on it? Oh, the best thing you've ever done, can I tell you? Thank you very much. Uh, I'm excited. I mean, it's, you know, it's been almost two years since we put out an album. And, um, you know, and, and I feel like every time we've gone in the studio to make an album, it's, you know, we've, we've gotten a little better. You know, we've learned a little bit each time and, and just kind of grown in the studio. And, and I feel like this album, you know, kind of, reflects that a lot you know songs I feel like we had a ton of time to find songs and get in the studio we didn't have to rush around to try to put an album together uh, and, and so ultimately the end result was an album that I'm really really proud of and, and uh, obviously it's, it's doing really well right now so um, you know so I, I'm excited about it I you know it, it waiting to put a new album out is, is like waiting on a, a baby to be born it seems like it takes forever you know, and then it's finally there, and you're just like you can breathe a little bit, and uh, you know I'm just glad it's out there for people to hear now. On the uh, the song with you and Luke and Eric, were you guys together in the studio, or did y'all do separate tracks? Uh, we actually cut the track. Me and my producer cut the track, and and uh, I went in and did my vocal, um, and then Luke came in a, a different day. I actually was in the studio when he came in, uh, so I was there when he cut his part. And then Luke and I were actually out on the road on tour together when uh, when Eric came in to do his part. So I was I wasn't there for Eric, but uh, but I was there for Luke's part. Did you have to coach Luke a lot. I did. I actually did. You know, Luke's Luke's a, a great singer. It, it's like when he's singing songs that he wrote. You know, because he knows exactly how the melody is right. supposed to go. And and uh, but when he's singing like a song somebody else wrote, he he like sometimes wants to change the melody. I'm like, do it again. Do it again, you know. And so I, I kind of hammered on him a little bit, but uh, it turned out great. 1994, my favorite song on the CD. I know. I was worried that uh, Joe Diffie might be a little pissed at me after that song, but uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently he loves the song. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but no, that that song's a lot of fun, and, and uh, you know, probably one of the weirdest, quirkiest things that we've ever recorded. You it's know? awesome. Though. But, what, but I was a, I was a, I was a teenager of the 90s. You know what I mean? And, and I came up in the bars playing all those songs that it talks about. And, uh, I tell people this story all the time. I went, there was a street party in my hometown, and um, they had different stages set up on different streets. And Kenny Chesney was on one stage, and Joe Diffie was on the other stage. This was like in the you know, early, mid-90s. And Joe Diffie had 7,000 people watching him, and Kenny had about 300. Wow. 
So that just kind of puts it in perspective yeah. of, you know, how big uh, a star Joe was in, in those days. Joe has been coming at your rate. That's yeah, awesome. Look. That's Go awesome, Joe. man. Go, Go Joe. Joe. We've heard you say before that you'd rather have a Georgia National Championship than a Grammy. Yeah. Obviously not happening this year. Um, so how long do you think that playing Sanford Stadium will pacify you before you start getting that itch again? I mean, you're going to be on that field. I don't know if it'll pacify me for a national championship. It'll, uh, you know, it'll, it'll pacify my pride for a while. Um, you know, I, the last time Georgia won a national championship, I was too young to even remember it. You I'm know? with you. So, I mean, something's got to happen here. And, you know, we've, I feel like we've been so close and had a team that, that could have done it, you know, a couple of different times over the last – 10 years or so and, and uh, just seem to always kind of have that one game where we hit where we stumble a little bit but uh, but yeah, I, I love Coach Rick. Unfortunately you had to be South Carolina this year. I know yeah. I love Coach Rick I think he's a great coach and, yeah. and, um, and I, you know I got a I got a good feeling that at some point it's going to happen and, and it might be next year Murray's coming back for another year and, and um, did he already tell you that he didn't tell me that but I'm assuming he's going to be yeah, back if he doesn't that. I'm going to come back over here and <laughs> haunt him <laughs> awesome night I mean, seven songs tonight. I was like, wow, this is better than anything. <laughs> so that was fantastic, and we are so geared up for uh, April 13th. Sanford Stadium here just was number one on the list, so uh, I, am, I am super excited. I think it's awesome that uh, Jason would want to come back here to, uh, to do a concert like that. There's really, I don't think there's ever been a concert uh, in Sanford Stadium, at least not like this, and uh, it's going to be a great event. I think it's a week after our spring game, so it'll be a lot of fun.